All right, folks, out here on the flight line today, got the Dynam Turbo Jet. And this will be the maiden flight. Hopefully, I'm catching that on screen. Um, got this, uh, ordered the servos, went ahead and installed them on the rotary knob so I can dial in the flaps. Flaps were uh, pretty straightforward installing, uh, not what you would expect, so uh, make sure you watch the YouTube videos. Uh, to learn how to do this. Uh, awful windy out here. You can see the flag over there, hopefully. It's uh, going about 12 to 15 miles per hour st uh, steady. Gust probably about 18. So uh, this will be a very, very short flight with it. Also out here, I got the PC-6. Had the Maiden on it yesterday. And uh, you can see on the cowling right there. Nosed in um, pretty good. It didn't have a... Um, uh, trimmed out properly. I think it was good to go now. However, I broke one of the wing struts. So it's going to stay on the uh, ground today. And this is my GB GBR3 uh, from Hobby King. Carl gave it to me out here, another member. Uh, this is the Franken G, I'll call it. This thing uh, crashed right out over behind those hay bales. And uh, Sprung home in about a <laughs> black plastic trash bag of about a 12 to 14 parts, I guess. You can probably see some of the uh, patch lines on it here, where it's been glued back together. Uh, the nose spinner is missing on it. This has got the. Uh, the attitude on the pilots where they're giving the, the old one finger salute also. Uh, hopefully I'll get it up next. You can see the frame on it is crooked. Uh, I mean it just really demolished it. Uh, a lot of pieces on it. I'm not even uh, sure it'll fly and it may not have the structural integrity to hold together on landing. Uh, I tried to brace it up with some uh, some uh, fiber in there, but uh, don't know how well that'll work. All right, let's get the turbo up. Okay, there's a problem with uh, one of my Y harnesses for the uh, gears. So if this gets up in the air, the uh, retracts are going to stay up, uh, or I should say down. Uh, I'm not going to try to activate them, just uh, on the off chance that the gear doesn't want to deploy again. So let's give it a try. Taxi it out on the ground first. This is going to take a little getting used to. Hopefully it goes well. I'm going to put it on mid-rates. Whoa! That didn't go good. It weather veined right in. You see that flag? Or the sock, rather? coming right in towards it. Not sure what the heck's going on there. Let's just bring this out on the flight line. Man, the grass is long today. It is definitely cavitating to the right. I think I'm going to pass on this one. Let's take a look at that front nose gear. The rudder is in alignment. However, that front nose gear is definitely
potential of being out of sync. It looks pretty straight. Perhaps it's just cavitating towards the wind. Bring it in. Well, that was not good. Well, folks, that's what happens when you're a hardhead. <laughs> I seen this thing was having a few problems and issues, and I definitely should have held off on it. But being anxious, I thought I could control it. And uh, much like a regular plane crash site, I saw debris scatter <laughs> for a uh, pretty good little distance. I would be surprised if this thing is salvageable. So let's see what we got. Alright, a wing tip. Canopy shattered. Put that in there. Fuselage broken in half at the nose. No control on it. Oh, battery ejected somewhere. Let's look around here and see if we can find that. Alright, gotta shut it down. Definitely a uh, heartbreaker. But uh, live and learn. Okay, recovered all of the uh, components. You can see here it did a number on the wing tip. Broke that off. That's repairable. This, I think, I'll have to have a new control rod. Fuselage cracked right up inside right there at the fake door. And uh, can't really fit the fuselage back on yet due to that control rod. She hit pretty hard. That's going to take a lot of hot water and a lot of time. That'll be a wintertime project. Well, again, that's just a uh, reminder that if it doesn't feel right, stop. Chances are the problem is not going to fix itself when you're in the air. But what happened is on the ground, I was having a little control issues. I have a couple of models that's that way where the uh, nose gear just, you got to be in high rates in order to... Uh, control it on the ground and uh, that's what I did with this I flipped it over to high rates and uh, uh, and then got it up in the in the air it lifted off from the grass okay and this is long grass it's kind of boggy and soft so I was impressed with that part uh, looks like got a control horn hanging back here too yeah it looks like it uh, busted a control horn which is better than and a servo. Of course, I'm going to strip the servo too. So at any rate, like I was saying, uh, don't be excited and nancy like me. Take your time. Um, 
I really thought that once it got in the air, I'd be able to uh, maintain control. Jets are a little different. You got to keep the throttle on. And I uh, was bringing it around. Uh, was going to try to set it down on the ground. And and uh, she just nose into the ground. So looking forward to seeing the video on it and see if I can uh, kind of take a guess at what happened. Um, I don't think it was a tip stall. Um, seemed like it still had lots of throttle. But we'll see. Hopefully this will be able to be rebuilt. Thanks for watching.